Hi, my name is Brad. And my name is Jason. And we're customer service agents here at Eastlink, here to discuss a first month invoice. Today we're going to talk about a first invoice that a customer receive after an installation. So we're going to take a look at a bill here. As you can see here, this is a very first statement a customer has received. Noted right here, it says the service period. With Eastlink, we do bill one month in advance for the services. So the first bill is always for two months of services. So the service period for this statement is from September 10th, 2010 to November 9th of 2010. Underneath that, we would have a previous balance, if any was carried forth from the last month's bill, and any payments received. The customer here did decide to make their first month's payment before their installation to assist with the two-month bill. Under bundles, this would be the beginning of your cable, internet, and telephone services. And this one this would be for two months of services. Under cable digital, we would have any additional theme packages would be charged under there. Internet, if they had any speed increase or Eastlink Internet Security Services, this is where it would be as well. And local phone, these would be your 911 fee and as well as your long distance charges, taxes and fees, and then your total due and the date that it's due and how much is due by that date. Now we're going to take a look at the second bill where it's going to explain more in detail of what these services are. And on the second page of the invoice, it'll show the account details at the very top. It'll show any previous balances as well as any payments received. In this invoice, there was a credit card payment to help out with the first two-month invoice. Below that is the bundles, of course, for two months being the first bill from September 10th to November 9th for Watch, Surf, and Talk, which is cable, telephone, and internet. Below that is any promotions that the client was able to take advantage of on this month of service. Below that as well is a breakdown of any extra cable services such as theme packages or digital service. Below that is the internet service and any extras such as internet security. In this situation it's just the modem that's extra at zero dollars. As well as below that is anything that contributes to the local phone service that would be extra, such as the 911 fee, as well as the non-published number. As well as below that, there's the taxes and fees, and the total amount due and the due date at the bottom of the invoice. And that there should uh, clear up some questions that you may have about an invoice. My name is Brett. And my name is Jason. And thank you for choosing Eastlink.